Hey guys, how's it going? Kripari in here. Today I want to give you guys a George build once again. George is one of my favorite heroes just because uh, he is so, so good at securing first place. There's a large multitude of build and now scaling options that George is capable of, which has led me to just picking him almost every single time. Now, George, on average, is not like the best hero in the game. He's pretty good, though. Don't get me wrong. It's not like a tier 4 type of situation where sometimes you get first more than the other tier 4 heroes. No, George is a very powerful hero, and it's a very powerful powerful hero because if you just slap on divine shield on a bunch of random stuff it actually checks out reasonably well yes you can get counter at the very end against a ghoul but that usually means that they are not playing a card and if you have a decent build even if you get ghouled you can win there are some mechanics to refresh divine shields which are particularly powerful because against george they will always lead with the ghoul which is a very interesting thing um and usually you can just not care too much about the divine shields if if you're just getting a decent build the divine shield effect is often better than just buying a card when you're playing george so george if you're playing him carefully enough and it does require some experience you can also just level rather quickly so it's super dynamic hero and i just love winning with just some super crappy builds so that's what you're gonna get today enjoy it i don't really think that anymore it's not so much i wouldn't know i wouldn't call the game mode bad it's not like, lol, game is bad, Blizzard, why you make bad? Okay, like, <sighs> there's good things and there's bad things, but the bad things um, are like nearly impossible to fix. That's the problem. They need, they need to develop new systems, substantial new systems in the game mode before they can adequately tackle these problems. Chatty Crip. Nerfing and buffing in many games before without compensation, without many people leaving. Yeah, but it ain't gonna be like that. I think the player... I don't know what the word is, but it's like the player addiction. I think the addiction level of mercenaries is like lukewarm. People are like, yeah, I may be interested. This farming ain't so bad. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite heroes, I guess. I don't really like farming, but okay. I wish I had those mercs. I wish these packs fucking had the pity timer they said it would have, but now we know via Reddit that there's no pity timer on the mercenary packs. But oh well, I guess I'll just keep playing anyway. Zyrella's pretty good. But then when you nerf Zyrella... I'm, I'm not so sure only a few people will leave. I'm not so sure about that. I certainly wouldn't bet on that. Retention? It's not really retention. Retention is just people are about to leave. Continued engagement. Consumer confidence. There you go. Consumer confidence. If I can drop that one in the earnings report. I think that's probably the best one. For free to play Hearthstone, it's 100% as I describe it. Is it? I guess you don't play Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds is fine for you to play. I think I will not shield. I don't want to commit to Murlocs this early. Try playing Yu-Gi-Oh, spending $1,000 on a deck to see next patch cycle worth 200 and then complain about mercenaries. Well, that's true, but sometimes the price goes up, and that is an aspect that people like about physical card games. I actually think the real money value for cards is the thing that has kept Magic the Gathering going for like three fucking decades. <laughs> hmm. 
that and it's a good game. Oh, yeah. But uh, the, like, permanent literal investment of the people playing it has been a major factor. Can't gamble on mercenaries? Ah, I'm sure we can, somehow. Look, at the end of the day, guys, if you guys enjoy mercenaries, I'm not, uh, not saying otherwise. Obviously, some people like the PvP system. Um, I actually think... I actually think it has a place for people that play Hearthstone. I feel like PvP is basically like playing aggro deck on ladder again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And you're like 1% better at making fewer mistakes, but it's still massively RNG and very much the same every time and again. But, I mean, a lot of people still play Hearthstone that way like seven years later, so I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Right, like I, uh, it's not for me, but some, it is for some people. Why is BG so much more fun when compared to duels and mercs? I think duels is pretty fun. But it doesn't quite have the endless replayability. With duels, you kind of get in there and you try to figure out what could work. But after you've played each class like two times, you know exactly which starting deck you should have. How you should try to approach the run given the class that you're running. Like, that sense of exploration goes away very quickly. And honestly... I'm still glad they made duels, because for me it has replaced Constructed. If I choose to play a new expansion to check out the cards, I'm going to play duels, I'm not going to play Constructed. So I mean, there's some success there. It's just, uh, it's tough to call duels a permanent game mode, at least in my opinion. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, I think they could they could just make more Slay the Spire like content in Mercenaries. That might be uh the best way forward, yep. That's true. I quite like PvE mercenaries. I even like the farming side of it. Like if they make an extensive PvE game mode in mercenaries with the mercenaries that already exist, I'd definitely check it out. Be happy to. Can we stop comparing mercenaries to Slay the Spire? No, because when they announced Mercenaries, it was as if someone redrew a Slay the Spire map. And they're like, this is what we're working on. <laughs> it turned out to be fairly different, but still has some similarities in the PvE mode. Similarities don't end there. You get like the roguelike temp buffs as you do a dungeon and you have encounters that can change it substantially there are there are a decent number of similarities i would argue Do this order to make sure that I get these. It's two steps away from Slay the Spire. Yeah. Gonna cleave the quill bear. Fine. Someone on Twitter informed you that throwing money at servers isn't a fix for server issues when Blizzard literally said their servers are at capacity. Uh, 
I don't know. If I had to guess, the um, the meaning of that might be that because their servers were at capacity for so long that the data is all crangled. Meaning that the point in which they are now at isn't solved by throwing money at the problem. He's making up words. It's a PoE terminology. Crungled? Something like that. So 100% gonna be the same issue with D4? <laughs> Look, dude. I imagine with Diablo 4, they are gonna take their sweet time and it is gonna release with no issues, bugs, or imbalance of any kind. Um, I also learned that Diablo 4 can potentially cure diseases of all kinds uh, when being played in moderate amounts. Uh, I think my doctor mentioned that to me. So, I mean, really... <laughs> How much are they paying you? Not enough, I guess. Not enough. It cures copium overdose. Why does it feel like there's some lag? Like they hit and then they die. They hit and then they die. They hit. Am I playing on like the Diablo 2 resurrected servers right now? It's been happening on mobile and PC and PC for you as well. I haven't played BGs in a while, so I'm 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 new at this, you know. That'll make things more interesting. Will it now? I don't know if I want to throw out that many doubles right now. Is the thing. But, on the other hand, I need to not be dead, so I guess I'll do it. Yeah, it looks like general lag on this one. That hurt too soon. The server stability of D2 Resurrected significantly reduced my enjoyment of the game. Like, look at that. Its shield took like a second. Look, look. Now it dies. What the hell? This is bizarre. This is not normal. Working as intended. Okay, dude. What makes Rag so much better than Antonius with Geddon? The plus three fire damage passive. It's really nice. You did what had to be done. Extra large minion coming your Pretty hard to do though, but I think I need that, right? Try Bandy. Yeah, I think it's pretty good though.
there. What's going on? He's dead! Okay. Alright. Oh, this is a disaster. Wait, that that missed its icon for the next one. It missed the Avenge icon. Oh, I won. That's pretty good, though. Am I playing on a potato? No, but I have not restarted for like three hours, so... I could uh, explain some things, you know. Ooh, I like those. Drop a divine shield. I kind of want the stat buff to work. Guess it would be that, though. Oh, okay. Hey, I have six gold now. How did I miss that? See the uh the avenge didn't didn't show. It's a bizarre lag situation. Nice animations. Yeah, totally. Better stuff. Probably is better. Nothing scares me except mine. RNG, dude. Why? Okay. Does I make it? Wow! Whew! Dodge that point nine. <laughs> Lucky day, boys. Lucky day. Wait a turn. Let's put a few extra stats on this so it doesn't just fall over. And the rest on that. Okay. 
Ghoul. Well, now I'm probably going to get ghouled after uh, not winning a 95-1. So, yeah, probably get ghouled and then just die and then give him over. Oh, no ghoul. Okay, okay. We're still in it. I can't really kill him though. The the issue there is that now he has another chance to get a ghoul. is kind of bad. Okay, well, it lagged. Keep it up and seize victory. Well, he found the goal. Oh, good hit, though. So lucky. Was it that lucky? Was it really? 